Hello folks, welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Today I'm a little bit stressed, a little bit. So we are going to make a quick overview today. I will try, Inspo quick, means two hours at least. Um, however, <sighs> give me Wall Street in a line, I will kick their balls 24 hours in a row. Trust me, I will do it because it's absolutely unbelievable what they are doing. It's really unbelievable. I mean, at the same second, it was really, I was front of the screen at the same second, DXY nuked and they were waiting, SPY, SPX waiting there just to push up very hard. How is that possible? If you don't know the data, how is that possible? I mean, if you want to pump or to nuke, you need such kind of preparation. How is that possible? Only if you know the data just before and at once. It's the only case I have in mind. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And of course, because after they fail three times, no, sorry, twice. It's now the time to fail a third time with the same stupid narrative of Oh, the inflation declined sharply, they said sharply. We, 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 I mean, it decreased from 8 to 7.7, 7, they say sharply. What? I, I, I really, I don't get that. And the only thing, I mean, my interpretation here is we are so done. We are so done. These guys are so greedy. They will crash the markets. It's not necessary to have the Fed. It's not necessary to have China, Putin or whoever. No, Wall Street will do it because they are doing it. What they are doing is absolutely nonsense and always they need an excuse to make it. And that's the narrative. We would expect a pivot. But why a pivot? Tell me why. I mean, did the inflation decline by 2%? That could at least give a signal, uh oh, worst case coming, hitting deflation, pivot as soon as possible. No. 0.3%. 0.3%. I mean, just between us. If someone would sell you a beer with 0.3% alcohol, would you drink it? No. And that's fine. I mean, I know we have a lot of Muslims um, who are watching my, my, my analysis. So I'm sorry uh, if this comparison don't, don't work with your religion and what you think about I, I, I don't have any other example right now in mind, but however, it's so stupid. It is so stupid. And I will tell you how that will end. Because what they did is the same crap what they did just in the past so many times. Always with the same excuse. Well, people, but why people? I mean, these guys are smart. Why people? It's not a scenario of people. I mean, now central bankers are telling us, well, we will talk about maybe 50 BPS next time instead of 75. Yeah, that makes sense. Of course. I mean, last time when I thought you were going to do it, you missed it. Instead, <laughs> you just hiked by 75 BPS. But yeah, I'm fine with that. 50 BPS, come on, but not PIVO. And to make such an accelerated market move like, that's it, everything is fine. Nothing to worry about, it's just stupid. Like Bitcoin, exactly the same. The algos just pushing, pushing, pushing. That's a shake out. That's the only thing. It's a short term. If you want to celebrate, be quick because that's not going to end well. It's it's really 
Wow. Once again, speechless. And to be honest, I have studied economy and I'm a pure capitalist. I can tell you, I, I love capital. The problem are not the markets. The problem is not the capital, not even fiat. The problem is humanity. The problem is the persons behind. The problem is the mismanagement, uh, mismanagement, what's happening, not only the markets and the banks and so on and so forth. That's the big problem, the big issue we all have. It doesn't matter if it's crypto with people like Juan, Sam, Shu, uh, and you will see, we will have a longer list. So yeah, all these people are the issue. It's not a market problem. It's a human problem. That's the big issue. And yeah, we need rules. We need rules. We, we need cells. We need to be in, in, you know, we need limitations. Otherwise, it happens what's happening. You know, everyone that gets a, you know, a golden coffee cup thinks he's got. And plays like, you know, he isn't untouchable. Using money from its customers to gamble. And that's not the first time that Sam did that. So, you know, I mean, Sam is crypto. Many will say, well, it's unregulated. It's crap. It's shit. No, it's not. Because Wall Street is doing exactly the same. And look at the charts. That's exactly the same game. They were preparing this move. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to make such an operation. You know, and that's that's just poo. I am really pissed because of that. That's that's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Because it costs nerves and money to th to retailers to the remaining retailers. They think they are so smart and they are going to make the best and perfect move. I just hope, I really just hope they will go underwater, all of them, really all of them. I really just hope it because I'm really tired to see such a crap. It's, it's absolutely crap. I was expecting such a move just because DXY was front running. That's something that it doesn't make sense. You know, I mean, uh, DXY usually is not front, front running such a move. I mean, usually you need, it was going up, 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 up. And even I thought and I was expecting such a move because I said yesterday or two days before I was expecting a little rally, but you know, this last move was such kind, oh, that doesn't make sense if these guys are expecting that, you know, that CPI is going to be worse or bad. So they knew that. Absolutely. I'm convinced they knew that. However, it is what it is. You know, we need to go forward. Uh, I have talked with, with George. He told me Gamma Wall at 390. It seems they, they don't care anymore about anything. Now it's pure FOMO. FOMO for everything. Everything is fine. Buy as much as you can because, you know, you will be poor, but you will be happy. It seems that's an agenda not only in the mind of some politicians. Let us go forward and check what's happening. As you see, I'm really, really, really pissed today. Well, wage ratio, 30 days moving average, still, you know, maintaining its high level. Even we went down once again, even to a, I would say an average bottom of 34, indicating we should go start to go down. We need to see how far it's too early now to say, if you are talking, are you going to flip to bullish? No, God, no, I'm not going to flip to bullish just because of such crap. 
No, it's not time. In my thing, we are so close. So, so, so close. I think we are very close, but we can go up, they will distribute, they will maintain, they will collect lungs and then dump once again. However, let us go forward. What's happening here? Nothing big. Just, hmm, stable coins came in. It seems they knew some few, I don't know, since yesterday, they knew something. So I guess someone called them and told them, hey, you know, I have some information here. CPI could be a little bit bullish for you. I don't know. However, what we see is uh, stablecoin on centralized, res uh, centralized exchanges, the reserves at least went up, declined afterwards once again, because we are noticing a lot of outflows of stablecoins again from centralized exchanges. Stablecoin supply lifted up, it's declining right now and you can see what the wage ratio 30 hours moving average is doing at the moment maintaining a level of 84%. That's high but not that high. Um, even here the wage ratio 1 hour indicating 80% right now. So they are, you know, well, they send some bitcoins of course but it's not the same like just a few days ago. Let us go forward. Um, I don't know what's happening to CryptoQuant. Unfortunately, oh, CryptoQuant, if you're watching my analysis, I don't know what's happening with your service, but it's not, not that good like before. Uh, we have a gap of data, so I don't see right now what happened since this morning so i can't see and track the inflows and outflows um only with bitcoin i don't know why but with stable coins it still works fine i don't know what's happening however uh yesterday night we had another really big inflow of 9000 bitcoins and in this morning before this data gap started um, another 4000 Bitcoin. So it seems some people were, um, you know, they, they, they smelled that they could have the opportunity to distribute even more. I don't know if it was really on, on Bitcoin, um, to be honest, I mean, I have detected and that's why I tweeted about that. I have detected a lot of activity related to Tether and Bitfinex. I mean, now FTX is done, we have uh, Quan is done, uh, but the list, as mentioned just before, have to be longer. Now we need that as a catalyst for the whole market because we have a lot of toxic people involved in this market. And in my opinion, uh, like I just said, I think yesterday or two days before, we need, we don't need rookies in this market. We really need pros. We need people that understand the market, that understand what it means to make, even if it's voluntary, uh, to bring some regulation, limitations, you know, something like, you know that customers funds are untouchable that's the golden rule don't touch because if you if you need to do it you know it's over it's over before it's over and you know and that's the problem of the whole market however we are seeing here that the whole market went up like once again doing such kind of double bottom. I would say it's not even a double bottom. It's nothing. It's it's really nothing just with this exaggerated, uh, exaggerated price move by SPY, SPX. The algos uh, coupled on Bitcoin just push up very hard. And that's it. That's the whole story. So... Um, at the moment, I can't see what's happening related to inflows and outflows. The only thing we can do then is to go here and to check what's happening. And it's indicating they bought a lot while we went down. They bought not really a lot. It seems the net flow, it's not indicating net flow only comes up 
when you have inflows or outflows. So if they maintain the Bitcoins on centralized exchanges, you will not see that here. And yeah, what, what should I see? I mean, it flipped from red a little bit more to green. If we go up, we see that even better. That's the four hours uh, time frame. We can see what they did. They pushed up very hard. And um, yeah, that that's it mostly. Um, so also here the reserves on centralized exchanges declined a lot. Uh, we need to talk about that a little bit later, but you know, that was the preparation it seems uh, before the dump afterwards. And it seems that was the preparation. And you know, I mean, if we check that, they started here the preparation, they stopped here with the dump. So they started here with the preparation, we are here. So usually this line here should go even more down, means in such case we are not done yet. Absolutely not. But we can see they are buying. The question is, are they done? I have my doubts. I really have my doubts because after such a huge distribution like they did, the accumulation should be big as well. And not just for five hours, six hours or one day. That should take one week, two weeks maybe, and then up only. But we will see. However, huge outflows indicating here at the same time also inflows indicating um, they started to distribute also the way up and so they also sent stable coins to buy at the same time. Not sure if that's maybe algo business, but you know, that's it. Let us go forward. So here, unfortunately, the same case, we have a gap in data related to Bitcoins. I can't tell you why that's happening. I didn't find any information about that on CryptoQuant, but maybe I didn't, you know, you know sometimes uh, even I have two eyes in my face. Sometimes, sometimes I think I don't have any eye on my face. Um, I, I have to watch maybe again, because usually they are known such kind of gaps in the data, if they are going to update the algos, whatever. Uh, related to stablecoins, we can see that while the funny rate lifted up, a lot of stablecoins came in. So let us check. That was, for example, here, a move of 600 million. That's really big. So a lot of money came in. Also, uh, in my opinion, uh, with, I mean, if we check the, the, the time, it was two hours before the CPI, you know, so someone <laughs> knew exactly what's going to happen. Uh, however, funny rate declined a lot, lifted up, uh, open interest maintains flat, only the leverage ratio is left uh, lifting up a little bit more, but also not that big anymore. So if we check, for example, here, we can see uh, they, you know, uh, two days in a row, they liquidated almost 18,000 Bitcoins in longs while 7,000 Bitcoins in shorts in the last two days. Not bad. Absolutely not bad. Uh, funding rate declined, of course, a lot. Um, only the leverage ratio dumped, uh, uh, bounced here. Open interest also declined a lot because they liquidated a lot of positions. If we check, for example, right now, uh, Binance, Binance leverage ratio, as you see, uh, recovering very quick, open interest flat and funding rate right now going up once again. Now people following the price action and well, we will see. I mean, usually that's not how our spring works. Usually we go down, we stress the market and then we go up. We don't need such kind of events like, uh, 
you know, dump narrative of people and whatever. So we need to see, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, at the moment, I don't see at the moment that we are going to go up. At the moment, I don't see that. So let us go forward. We see here um, on Binance 1.5 billions in longs and only 800 millions in shorts. Hopefully all of them are going to take profit and uh, we will see what's going to happen next. Um, also on Bitfinex, some longs came in, but more shorts. We had 50 millions in shorts. Now we have 124 millions in shorts. We had last week 2.2 billions in longs, and now we have only one, well, only 1.9 billion. However, you know, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, Binance, well, I don't know if we should, no, it's not necessary now to use FTX anymore because FTX is almost dead. Uh, we see they need to go up to 20,150 to liquidate this part here or, and that's really a huge one, a huge cluster between 14,400 and 13,900. Uh, we also have here a little cluster of 15,600. So we will see if they are going to uh, go for this one here or if that's going to flip once again and to uh, go in that direction. Something I was expecting, I still expect that, even we had now a breakout to the upside without retest, once again, without retest, just go up like a rocket, moon next. So... In my opinion, we will. It will take some time now. I don't think it's going to happen immediately. In my opinion, we will go maybe a, another leg up, not a big one, but another leg up to um, just to to wreck the late shorts, maintain distribute because the distribution is going to be the difficult part of everything, um, and it will take some days then down again uh, that's my opinion at the moment but we will see however so nothing special here uh, that we can see let us go forward so if we check what's happening here for example it's not a big deal absolutely not i mean the price action was exaggerated but if we take a look the cvd didn't react like expected. Why not? I can tell you why not. What is the volume delta? I have purchased 10 bitcoins and have sold 15 bitcoins. The volume delta for that period of time of my operation is minus 5. So if we see such a candle that's really huge and then the volume delta is well, not that big. What does that mean? Well, usually means that the gap between purchased um, bitcoins and sold bitcoins are not really big. Means people use the situation to distribute at the same time the way up. So is that bullish? That's something you need to to respect or to answer to yourself in my opinion it's not it's not uh, the aggregated um, as you see I mean I, I'm I'm skipping now um, if takes and I'm even going to remove now this tab here because it doesn't make any sense anymore to track FTX so we can go directly now to check what's happening here and we can see that um, you know, Binance started here with a positive volume delta. It was at minus 24,900, almost 25. Now we are at minus 21,500, indicating a volume delta of 3,500 Bitcoins. At least on Binance, BTC USDT, they bought 3,500 more Bitcoins 
that they sold. That's the whole story behind. Is that big? No, it's not. But I guess Coinbase did a bigger deal. I guess that. But that was the main driver of the uh, aggregated spot CBD. Um, we can see that coin margin contracts, so future contracts uh, that use Bitcoin as collateral was also pushing up, um, correlating with the price action or at least with the CBD, spot CBD. And the futures, as you can see, they started to push up to longs um, just um, that was yesterday when we reached our level of 15,600. So, but also not huge at all, not big. If we go forward, we can see what Bitfinex did. Bitfinex, if we take a look and we see, okay, I mean, Binance did almost three and a half thousand and Binance is big and we check Bitfinex, Bitfinex, Bitfinex did almost 1000 Bitcoins. A little bit more in positive CBD. That's big for Bitfinex. And that's why I tweeted about that because it was a lot of USDT transaction where Bitfinex was involved. We know Bitfinex Tether, it's you know, it's the same little family. Um so it's not a secret. I don't like Tether. I absolutely don't like Tether and so I can't like Bitfinex at the same time. It's not possible. Otherwise, it would be a little bit double standard. I don't like Tether because, you know, if you want to play fair, be transparent. I don't need someone else to dictate to me, hey, I'm the regulator, you have to be transparent. If I'm not hiding anything, be transparent. Where's the problem, you know? I mean, but Tether is not doing it. Even today, we didn't see any full audit. Even now, where they said they liquidated all their commercial papers. So where's now, what's the problem now, you know? I guess the only problem is that their liquidity is maybe less than their circulating tethers. Uh, that's just a theory, but however. So Bitfinex careful because Bitfinex was in the past involved in many price action. Oh, how, how to say that in a way that I'm not going to make a... they were involved in strange price actions in the past, just to make it in such diplomatic way. So when I, I detected uh, all these stable coins, USDT to Kraken and so on and so forth, I knew mm, something is wrong. And yeah, uh, unfortunately I was right. If we take a look, for example, on Coinbase, well, Coinbase, not really. I mean, they they also did almost a little bit more than 1,000 Bitcoins. And right now it looks like they are distributing. But, you know, also nothing big. Absolutely nothing big. A little bit strange that the price looks very, um, correlates very well with Coinbase. Even Coinbase doesn't have that big volume, but it is what it is. So let us go forward. Let, let us check what the entities are doing. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, retailers, wallets with less than one Bitcoin. Woohoo. Let's go up, baby. I mean, I like that. You know, I like retailers and Bitcoin. That's the, that's the goal, I guess. Um, and that's, I'm, I'm happy. I, I like to see that. I really like to see that. Many people thought I, I don't like Bitcoin in the past just because I was very bearish on Bitcoin. I don't like to see Bitcoin related to big entities. That, that's a big, you know, um, because, you know, I mean, Bitcoin doesn't have any other use case than to storage value. And it's completely decentralized. So 
for retailers, it makes extremely sense, really. So I'm bullish on Bitcoin uh, when I see such such uh, a move that retailers are buying and buying and buying. Like, I mean, look that. Wallets with less than 10 Bitcoins. Up, up only. These guys did it, but they are not following. Strange. These guys here, we know, they buy the dip and they love to make quick profit, so sell afterwards, that's it. Market makers, well, I mean, they just purchased a little bit, it seems, so nothing big at the moment. So they did uh, 20,000 after we reached a new low level, a multi, multi-year multi low level of 4,940,000 Bitcoins. So at the moment, uh, they increased their balances by another 20,000. And entities related to centralized exchanges are reducing their balances. And that correlates very well to what I have showed you just before that confirms by a different separate source what we are seeing there. And that's very good. We can see here right now that Bitcoins are coming in once again. So in preparation to the next leg to the downside. So distribute at that high level and then, well, you know, I mean, that's not new. Um, yeah, unfortunately, also here a gap in data. Let me check if we can see now something, but I guess still not available. And yeah, still not available, but the market maker uh, entities were once again very active, sending more Bitcoins uh, around in the last, that was, well, uh, two hours ago, 1,440 Bitcoins, then just before almost 2,800 and so on and so forth. So still looking much to distribution at the moment and less to, you know, that they are accumulating. Now, also that is the process we need to see. We need more patience and see what's going to happen next. Um, market activity. Well, I think after if the X collapse, what should I say? I mean, look that even futures, it's well, it looks horrible really horrible and miners uh yesterday sent 5400 bitcoins so that's their outflow from their pool the day before 2200 and today at the moment 2000 but yesterday was really big with almost 5400 the last time that happens uh, that was september 2nd or for example here that was the biggest one since um uh, yeah and this year with almost 6,800 Bitcoins, uh, June 22nd, and so on and so forth. I, no, the biggest one was here, that was April 1st, and that was when Quan just decided to say, hey, you know what? I have found some billions in my wallet. I'm going to buy Bitcoins now. Yeah, well, However, we know how that ends, uh, ended and uh, Justin Sun loves, it seems, to make uh, yeah, such kind of deals because he is, it looks like a little bit like he is going to follow Quan, uh, but at least he is an ambassador, so he is uh, the diplomatic stuff and untouchable. <laughs> what a lucky guy. Well. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. We go forward. So let us see what Coinbase did. We had a wall here at 17 K there absorbed this cell wall right now maintaining there. We have a park here at the moment. That's where we maintain, but above. So usually that could give us another jump to 18,300 or even up to 19,700 and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, after they, um, yeah, triggered all these buy orders, 
Um, they started to remove some liquidity here. Uh, however, at 15k, we'll still have here some bigger walls, but that's it. That's really it. Sell orders. They removed even sell orders here at 29 and so on and so forth. Right now, even here reducing at 25. So here, nothing big happening. Um, even here, I mean, the CVD, we know how uh, Coinbase works. So they started to decline and started to buy at the same time, but nothing big. We still have, of course, this cluster here. Uh, we can see that. Um, so just to protect that area, let us go to Deribit. Deribit here, um, yeah showed that they were shorting all the time and then they started to long with a little bit of delay but also here nothing happening bitstamp for example also here they were protecting that area of 15,500 and below so still waiting there they didn't remove the liquidity there um, also we're distributing and then afterwards they start uh, to buy once again but also here nothing happening Binance uh, Binance looks still like distribution as you can see they are not buying big at the moment uh, we have some sell orders there waiting here for example at 18k um also here for example with 1100 bitcoins at 18.6 and more sell orders coming so we will see how far they want to bring also here big cluster uh from here for example indicating they are still waiting even they reduced liquidity now below 14k uh like they are expecting we are almost done we will go up now Oh, well, we'll see. I'm not that sure. So Bitfinex spot, um, yeah, they absorbed this. Um, they triggered this buy order at 16k, um, and now they have a new position at 15k between 15k and 15.5. So we have here cluster of volume with liquidity waiting there. We have here a lot of sell orders, a lot, I mean the count of sell orders, not necessarily the volume, but as you see, they reduced here the sell orders at 30k, for example. The question is why, if that's just saying preparation for the next, you know, push up, I don't, I don't know. Well, FTX perp, I mean, we don't need to talk about FTX anymore. I think it will calm down a lot and, yeah, softly die. And, well, unfortunately, I don't care, to be honest. I just care about you and I hope you don't have your funds there. Uh, but that's it. Uh, OKEX OK spot indicating distribution is still happening. Also on Kraken, doesn't look like they started to buy. Um, also here waiting between 14k and 15k. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit like Algo deals. Bybit, nothing. Bitmax, um, yeah, also nothing, nothing big at least. Uh, Binance Futures. They are waiting to short at 19k. That's stupid. That's so stupid to wait at 19k. But well, everything is possible. Wouldn't surprise me if they go once up and once another to 19k. But you can see we have here a bunch of shorts waiting right now uh, to get triggered. Of course, also here, for example, at 74 longs. But that's it. That's absolutely it. Yeah. Mm, Bitfinex derivatives shorting at the moment as you can see they are shorting shorted shorting so at least related to CVD Kraken futures doing exactly the same so also nothing big waiting here that 
looks strange at 19k for example some shots okx futures doing exactly the same so they they started to bring some longs but it's not big at all absolutely not uh would like at, at the end if we start to dump from here it will look like a dead cat bounce but however it just really a big one well and uh yeah what should i say i mean that on sp uh, on ftx spot of course liquidity um taking out because uh it's it's strange to see then here who is doing it at thirteen thousand five hundred. who is they have if that's right they have an order in the book of 600 bitcoins waiting at 13,500 since since today since midnight Sam are you kidding us <laughs> what the hell well whoever that's it 